Hey guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Berlin, Germany at the Schlonberg Castle. And we have that for you today are five things you're going to love and hate about staying at hostels. Because if you're going to backpack through Europe and you're by yourself, hostels really are a good option. And Germany is the most famous for their Jugendherberge, or youth hostels. But as anyone knows, if you stay at a hostel, hostel there's things you're going to love and things you're going to hate. So we're going to go through them right now. Now, the first thing you're going to hate, because I like to get the hates out of the way first, is hate number one is the snoring. <laughs> I'm not gonna kid, I'm not gonna lie to you, I snore, but my god, when you have eight people in a room and people are snoring, you don't get much sleep. People are coming in at all times, so you just don't get much sleep. And that's number one, really. It's the snoring, but it's actually the lack of sleep and private privacy you have when you're there. But it just boils down to number one thing you're gonna hate is the snoring. Oh my god, it's so bad. Now the second thing you're not gonna like kind of comes also with that snoring is the people that are staying there with you. They are probably gonna be number two because they're using your stuff, they're gonna maybe take some of your things, use your shampoo, leave the place a mess, all these kind of things. The people staying at the hostel that are with you in that room, you know, maybe they're hooking up, you know, uh, you know, after you know, after a night out or whatever, can kind of take away from your experience. And that's one of the things people do tend to hate is the people staying in your room with you. So one is the snoring from them and, and then the lack of sleep. Two is the actual people staying there and they'll bother you. Now the third thing you're not gonna like about going to hostels are the rules. Whether it is a a very early checkout or at 11 o'clock you have to curfew you have to be there by or no staying more than one day I mean we had these when we went to Venice you know in some places you know they say hey you have to bring your own sheets and that's one of the things guys I see a lot of people backpacking through Europe with an actual sleeping bag the hostels won't let you use your sleeping bag you got to actually rent there so it just adds on the price now the fourth thing you're not gonna like is guys hostels tend to be a little dirty because you have people coming from all over and there's a lot of people in a room not, I mean two people can make something messy eight people can make it disgusting so just know whether it's water everywhere in the bathrooms or the kitchen isn't being cleaned up or whatever typically the hostel can be a little dirty Now, not all of them are I've been to some of them very clean but that's just kind of the thing you're, you're kind of getting into is it gets a little nasty when you're staying at these things. And the fifth thing you're not going to like about them is they are getting expensive. Now when I first started backpacking through Europe in the mid 90s it was dirt cheap to stay at hostels and it was a good value. Now hostels have tried to got, get Hostels have tried to get better, like in, in Lisbon, the hostels are your best place to stay because they're actually nice where there's not a lot of cheap hotel options. However, now when they're charging 25 euros a night for a hostel, plus, oh, 5 euros to rent the sheets, well, that's 30 euros a night. Now, if you have another friend with you, well, that's 60 euros there. You can get a two-star hotel in most cities in Europe, and it's actually better than staying at the hostel. So they are getting more expensive. But those are things you're going to hate, mostly the snoring. Just remember, the snoring totally sucks. You're not going to sleep there. Now, what are you going to love about going there? Now, the first thing I love about going to hostels, you meet great people. You meet other travelers, and you find a new travel buddy. Hey, who's going to Switzerland? You are? Let's go. Who wants to see the museum? Let's go. And you meet these fans fantastic people there that are also traveling and so that's really great I've actually made some good friends in the hostels I stayed in and that's kind of the best thing so you hate the people but you also love the people the second thing you love goes along with that it's sharing of travel advice whether it's the people you meet or the people working at the hostel these things are geared towards tourists and they will help you figure out everything you need to do and see in those towns and the people you meet will give you advice for the next town you should go to you know should I go to Bamberg or should I go to Bayreuth oh Oh, Bomber with their smoked beer in this beautiful town hall is much better than Bayreuth, so go there. Oh, okay, thanks, man. So the advice you get is really fantastic. The third thing you're gonna love about hostels is a lot of times they're in very good locations. So though you're kind of you know stuck in these crazy things, you are downtown or you're near the historic center. Now, not everyone is. Some are far out of town, but in general, you're one, either downtown or two, right next to some public transport, so you'll be okay. The fourth thing is, I know I said it was expensive, but it still is an affordable option, especially if you're traveling by yourself. I really recommend hostels if you're going by yourself, because one, you meet people, and two, you save money, so it's a really great thing there. So just know there's, there's that one, and something you're gonna enjoy is, hey, you're saving a few bucks if you're traveling by yourself. And the fifth thing I love about hostels is you feel like a traveler. I mean, you go to a hotel, you feel like, oh, I'm at the Holiday Inn, but if you go to a also, you feel like a traveler. You feel like, yes, I'm backpacking around and I'm meeting these people. I'm seeing the world staying at the hostels. And this kind of like, you know, vagabond feel you get about being at the hostels is one of the things I love about it. So, 
Those are five things I love and hate about hostels. A few extra advice for you. Make sure you call and reserve your room at hostels beforehand, especially in peak seasons. Some hostels are actually putting in private rooms so families can come stay too. But check the rules and regulations before you go because it can make a big difference. So I hope that helped you. I'm going to take off and go enjoy some more of Berlin. You have a great time. Enjoy the hostel you're staying in. I hope the guy doesn't snore. Bring some earplugs. It might help. So bye from Charlottenburg in Berlin, Germany in the Charlottenburg Palace. Bye.